And prison is for everyone. I don't wish evil for anybody. Don't wish evil for me. Don't be jubilate. Don't be happy when your sister or your brother is in trouble. Uh, court say you have been acquitted and discharged. Yantiasi. A bino say acquitted and discharged. No, that just says Ubeko prison. Also, now here. I'll be going to say what can you know? Media me be sa question. And I'm sister can you know. Messi Mentias yet you have been and I'm meeting and say the matum What is your seven or in ya qua do be on farm ball and say me free. Ya say you will fear seven say who crow who ti who fear na oh yeah it was out there you wanna know the but Continuing to be em fast so book as ye be ambo. It will need United Television in Anna as a musum. Any a quay, any a Sadi has any mini question. We have. I remember last year, 2021, January, I was being called to come to Nigeria for a big show. I was so privileged to be called among the big top stars all over the world. We have Maka in it. We have Messiah Igbe in it. We have Inkechi Blessing. You like my lips? Thank you. Inkechi Blessing in the show. We have Anto. We have Naledi. A lot of. We have Josh. Josh. Two Face. Josh. Look at these top stars. That me, the village girl, the bush girl that they never respected, was among them in Niger. It was a top great show and big money on the show in January 2021. My case started 30th June 2020. 30th June 2020, that is when my case started, but they didn't call me. I didn't get any police warrants. So the case was hanging. So 2021, when I got to Nigeria, when I entered Nigeria for my first time to get a big contract in Nigeria, I've never worked in Nigeria before. I've never shot a movie in Nigeria before. Who is going to recommend me to Nigerians? I only have God. I have Allah. I don't have anyone. So, I'm telling you, this is... I am in I don't know how to say it in English. It's my world remit. Me tam kesi my world remit. I'm tell I'm talking. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's my world remit that I can never forget about it. I wish and I don't wish anyone to go through what I went through. It was like I'm in hell. I was in hell. I was in hell. So when I started pro promoting the show, they realized hmm. Immediately I start posting something, they go inside. They contact the people to know what the contract is involved. That is what they do to me in life. Everybody will sign contracts, but if Polo sign contracts, they go inside, they will come and sit on television to read my contracts with people. It's only Polo who will sign skincare products. And someone would go and ask the skincare products, how much did you pay Polo? And they will sit on their show and discuss my pay. Why? Witchcraft. Why? January, I was called to come to court. I was so naive. I didn't have a lawyer. So I called my two brothers. I called them. I told them that I have to come back to Ghana. But they said I have to come to court. So I came to Ghana. My brothers came to meet me from the airport. We came back home. On Monday, I have to appear in court. Naive girl, I've never been to court before. I've never been to police station before. I've never been to police station po before to even visit anybody. Because when I was in Suhum, they said someone traveled from Abrochi and came and heard that his friend is in police station. He said, oh, how? So he went there to visit the friend. Immediately he got there, the friend pointed at him that he did whatever he did with, with him. 
and they arrested him, oh, innocent person from abroad. Who said, who heard that, oh, my friend is in prison. It happened in Suhum. So me, I've learned a lot. So I don't go to the police station. So my first time in court, 2021, January, sometime, big flash from Nigeria to Accra. I went to court with my brothers. We were all new. My brothers have not been to court before. So we went there with that lawyer. When they read my things, they read everything, they asked me if I'm guilty or not guilty. And because I didn't do what I did intentionally, I said I'm not guilty. Because the picture I posted, I didn't post it in the wrong way. I didn't know it was bad. So when the judge asked, and me too, I don't know anything about court. I said, not guilty. The judge said, okay, if you are not guilty, I've heard you because I didn't have lawyer. I didn't have lawyer. I didn't know how to pick lawyer. I didn't know. So the judge too saw that, oh, this girl doesn't know what is going on. So they said, okay, they should bail me. And then they, they gave me bail bond. And then Ishakla, a man from Tema, I didn't know him, came to bail me. But the thing was on Monday, and this, um, because it was late, because they have to inspect everything before they bail me. So the man came in the afternoon. So by the time they were going to inspect everything, you know, it was late. So they have to detain me in police custody. That was in January 2021. So they released me on Tuesday. The next Saturday, I was doing Suhum homecoming. Straight from police custody, I slept in cells. I gathered the courage, went to Suhum with the broken heart, went to do my show. I came. I went back to Nigeria. Then they adjourned my case two weeks' time. I was picking flights from Nigeria to Accra to court. My coming is 2,400, my going 2,400. I did that four times. I realized all the money they gave me is going. So I have to leave the show and come and stay in Accra and go to court. And I was reporting every week, police headquarters. I moved car from where I, I was reporting because I don't want any problem. You have to respect the police authority. If you don't take care and you mess up, you, you mess your life all up. So I went all oh, from 2021 to, I'm telling you this, I'm strong. I was going with my brothers, everything, everywhere. Me, I didn't know anything. They were doing all the undergrounds for me. So in the middle of 2021, first sentence came. And then they, they appealed for me. When they appealed for me, the high court judge listened to our plea and he said I should come. So I came and I started working again because if I don't work, I can't take care of my son. And as an artist and then an actress, I can't stay idle. So I started putting up jobs and works. I was quiet. I was not talking about anybody's business, but I was just doing my work, doing music videos and then shooting movies. So, in November, my case was called again. 2021 November. When we went, they adjourned my case to December 2021. First December. Attorney General, thank you. Shout out to you. Attorney General, shout out to you. All your efforts. I don't know you from anywhere. You never saw me, but you did it for me, Attorney General. All your letters you, you wrote to the court, you didn't know me from anywhere, Attorney General. You never met me. You didn't know me from anywhere, Attorney General. But you wrote to the court to pardon me. Thank you, sir, wherever you are. And when they said they have adjourned my case from 1st November to 1st December, hi, my brothers. We lost hope. My brothers were telling me, Polo, if you don't take it, they will let you spend their Christmas in jail. Polo, for them to adjourn your case 
to first December, if you don't take care, you'll spend your Christmas in jail. Say God forbid. For something that I didn't know it was wrong. God knows that I didn't do that for, for anything. God forbid. Oh God. God. God, don't let me spend jail. God, my son. I'm just working for my son. Not for anything. I'm not just doing anything for anything. I'm just working hard. I'm not taking anything from anyone. The little I do, that's where I feed from. And what I even did was out of pain. So, they shouldn't sentence me to spend my Christmas in jail. What will my son eat? So, we got to court. We were sitting down. They were calling cases. Last year, 2021, they caught my case. I and my brothers were sitting down waiting for what the judge would say. So the judge was reading. Uh, when he was, she was reading, I was listening to everything. I realized, no, there's no hope. There is no hope because the way she is, where she has gotten to, all that she is saying will take me to jail. So I was just standing, listening to all that she was saying. I was in the hoods. I was in the distance. So after she finished reading everything, she said I should go back to jail. The same judge who asked them to bring me out when I was sentenced first in 2021. The same judge said I should go back. I said, oh God. God, why? In 1st December. Yeah, I've been through so much. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Thinking a lot. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Not when you know that you don't have anybody. You don't even know who is doing what for you. You don't even know what is going on. And you only have two people behind you. But God did it for me. They sentenced me 1st December. But inshallah, I came back 17th December 2021. I came out 17th December. Yeah. I didn't spend the three months they gave me. I didn't, say, I didn't spend the three months. Allah did not let it happen. I didn't spend it. I I came home to celebrate the Christmas with my son. Yes, 1st to 17th December. I was in prison. And I was in prison in the middle of 2021 and they released me. That one I spent seven days in prison. And then after Four months later, they sentenced me again in November, yeah, December. Be and and I came back home to see my people. All thanks to my lawyer, lawyer Andrew Vortia. All thanks to the three judges who sat on my case. The three men, Court of Appeal. The three men. Who sat on my case? All thanks to Attorney General. Thank you, sir. 
All thanks to all the celebrities who didn't sleep, who were doing the underground moves for me that I didn't even know. All thanks to my family and friends. My family and friends who were there for me, knowing and unknowing. He didn't let me spend the money they gave me. He didn't allow it. Thank you, everybody who contributed. I know you did it for my son. And we are so grateful. Hi, hey, my son, we are so, so grateful to you guys. Whoever supported in any way. That I didn't even know. Whatever you did for me, for my release. Allah bless you. you. Can see my eyes are red. I mean whatever I'm saying. My eyes are red because it's not easy. It's not easy. I don't wish this for anyone. I don't wish this for anyone in life. If you go to prison, you know that prison is for everybody. Prison is for everybody. Prison. Prison is for everybody. Prison is for everybody. You don't need to steal. You don't need to kill. You don't need to do tracks alone to take you to prison. Anything at all can take you to prison. Don't laugh at anybody going to prison. Never be happy and enjoy when you see someone going to prison. If you can help, help the person to come out. If you can help, help the person to come out. And if you have someone in prison that you've abandoned, Please go and check on them because they are suffering. If you have a friend, if you have a mother, if you have a brother, you anybody you have in prison, don't abandon them. Go and pay them a visit. It gives them hope. It gives them hope. Some are hopeless. Some are hopeless in prison because nobody comes to them. They work in there to get money. To feed yourself. I won't talk much. All that I will say is, Allah bless you. Allah bless Kadi B. Allah bless all the bloggers who supported me, who used their platform to support me not to condemn me all the bloggers all the media who used their platform to blog me in a nice way to help me god bless all the celebrities who prayed for me never jubilated for my downfall allah bless you all may you never lack because you have no idea on whatever you did for me you saved me and you saved my son. You saved me from disgrace. You saved me. Whoever helped me in December first. I will never forget. I will never forget. And I will never forget whoever helped me. No matter what. If you stood for me and we are no more talking cry. I will never forget all that you did for me. Because I had no one to help me, not even my family members. I only had my mom, and we didn't want her in the picture. I didn't want bloggers to worry her. So we made her stay indoor, and she was crying. 
She was crying. My mom was crying. My son didn't know what was going on. Because she was a, she's a child. She's a child. She doesn't even understand prison. I love you guys. I love you. It's necessary. If you think it's not necessary, do something and let them take you to prison. If you think it's not necessary, do something and take yourself to police cells. And you will know that what I'm feeling inside here. Today being 1st December, what my enemies cost me. Don't be stupid in my life video. If you don't live my life video right now, if you've been sent, I'll curse you with all my worries. If you don't leave my live video right now with your stupidity, because I never called you in my live video to come and listen to trash that I'm saying here. Idiots. Idiots. Leave my live video, beauty baby or so. Leave my live video, foolish fool. If you think prison is good, go, there, go and put yourself there and feel it. And feel it. And feel it. Idiot, who called you here to come and watch me? Chief, give me tissue. Who called you here to come and watch me and ask me if this is necessary? Don't let me insult you here. Don't let me insult you here. Bitch, go and ask them. They are suffering. Stupid fool, you think it's easy? You think it's easy? Yes. Um, go and tell whoever sent you here that you didn't meet me. Whoever forced you to come here, Kwasia. Whoever forced you to come here. Go, oh, Chief, this is small. Sorry, I yeah, what? Well, go and tell whoever sent you here into my live video you didn't meet me. Do you hear me? If, what do you mean by it's not in a bad way? Are you you are you are you are asking me if this is necessary for me to talk about it? Like seriously? Even if your dog dies, you do work for your dog. If your pet dies, you cry your head out. You don't eat. You put your stomach down for your dogs. For your dogs. If your dogs die, you don't eat the whole day. Go, go and, uh, 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 and hurt someone. Let them take you to police custody for a day. That is when you, you feel it. You feel the heat. Sleeping in cells. Not even in jail. Sleeping in police cells. You know. Holy Mary, she's a Jesse Bell. Go on, son of wife. May Allah bless you for your support. I have to go. But Kama is a bitch. Know that. Don't wish anyone down for. Kama. Kama is a bitch. And prison is for everyone. Prison is for everyone. Yes, you can step on someone. Then. If the person say he or she will take you to prison, you go to prison. Know that. Don't mock anybody. Don't mock anybody who is in trouble. Never jubilate. Don't jubilate over every, anyone's downfall. Never jubilate. I will never wish evil for anybody. Prison is for everyone. Kama is bitch. I'm telling you. That is all I will say. Just stay safe. Christmas is coming. Stay safe so that you can enjoy Christmas with your family. With free Freedom is all we need. If you have your freedom, you have everything. You hear me? The prayer for the hair, contact them. The prayer for hair, contact them. Cat beauty. They will tell you the price. That is what I use for my hair. My hair is growing upon all the covering. I always put cover my hair. But you see, my edges, I have edges. I have everything. This is my natural hair. Yeah, I'm all natural. I'm real. I love human beings. I don't fake to human beings. Allah always fight for I, Allah always fight for me. And all my enemies go down. Whoever wish me bad will go down, I swear. Because I have Allah. I don't have Juju. I don't have anybody. 
I'm a noble girl. I don't wish evil for anybody. Don't wish evil for me. And don't jubilate over anybody's downfall, please, I beg you. Don't be happy. Let's wish everybody good. You can go to prison any time. It's for, that house is for all of us. Prison. Don't jubilate. Prison is for, prison is for everybody. And you know what I'm talking about. Relax. Don't jubilate. Don't be jubilate. Don't be happy. When your sister or your brother is in trouble. Never. Never. Nobody should jubilate. Let's pray. Pray for our sisters and our brothers who are in trouble. If your family member is in trouble, pray to Allah. That's what I do. Please. And if you have someone in prison, go and visit them. They need you. They need you because food, food, food is not common there. At least your face, your face will give them encouragement. Beauty, don't worry, I'm okay, beauty. Don't worry, don't say sorry, I'm okay. Just that I'm in pain. So don't worry, okay? Don't worry, I'm okay. Don't worry. Please, if you have someone in prison, visit them. They need your encouragement. Call them. When they call you with the prison number, pick it. Pick it. Yeah, she has apologized. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just fine. I love you guys. I have to go and bath. Please, always... Always pray for me. Remember me in prayers, please. I beg you. Remember me in prayers, okay? I love you guys. Keep on supporting me. Keep on. I love you.